Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight. And today, one of my uh, Active Duty buddies was kind enough to let me borrow a bunch of his gear to do reviews on. So it's actually the same guy who let me borrow the gear for the, um, the Hardhead Veterans helmet review I did not too long ago. And that one was a lot more in-depth because there's, uh, well, you know, there's ballistic material and very precise laboratory testing involved. Whereas today, we're looking at the freaking Spiritus Systems. Mark V on a, uh, The Thing 2. The Thing 2 being singular, so a The Thing 2 or the The Thing 2, from my understanding. So he's kind of left to let me borrow this to do a review on. Longtime viewers of the channel do remember I reviewed Spiritus Systems back in the day with the, uh, Microfight Mark III, and that was pretty cool, and then I also managed to get a Haley Strategic D3 CRM, and I really like the clicky-clack of moving things around with the magazines and everything, and a little clamshell pouch and whatnot. So they're both pretty cool. Um, there is still definitely um, lots of nice things about the elastic set they got going on here. So we're going to be talking about that. Now my buddy, being active duty, he's doing the Ranger Green sort of setup. I don't know why you would choose Ranger Green, kind of a kind of an odd color, if you ask me. <laughs> um, but I, I do get it. When I uh, initially EAS for like the first two or three years, I kind of like avoided County Brown because of a strong association to um, rain, cold, and suffering, but um, after after a while I kind of like dissipated, and now I'm definitely an enjoyer of the uh, Coyote Brown, and I don't know, maybe my buddy will do the same when he gets out, whenever that may be, so. But yeah, I do like the, the Spiritus, I'm not going to say Haley's like the great, I'm not going to say it's like the greatest end-all, be-all for like the micro chest race sort of setup, because you know, if you take like one particular thing that's like the guy who always comes in, he's like, yeah, just get a Glock. You go, okay, cool. Well, that's like great for starters. Glocks are pretty fantastic and functional right out of the box. You don't need to mod them. You usually cause more problems with that. But you know, you don't want to become like a Glock fanboy and just be like, yeah, Glock or nothing. Don't don't worry about it. Don't try out a CZ75 Bravo. Don't mess around. I mean, don't mess around with a good 1911. Just don't bother with any other handgun. M93R Rafika or whatever they call it. M9s, if you replace the little friggin' recoil spring after every 10, 100, 10,000, 100,000 rounds or whatever, so it doesn't jam like the surface ones do, because no one wants to replace the springs. So yeah, you know, that'd just be like an awkward thing to say and not do cool reviews. And the uh, Mark V is definitely um, different from the uh, Mark III I'm used to. And the Thing too is um, definitely one of the things ever created by society, so... Let's go ahead, let's get started on this review here. So he's got a few pouches. He's got a pretty unique setup. I actually liked a lot of the things he threw on here. I thought they were pretty uh, well thought out and clever. So, let's actually pop this off real quick. Don't mind this Coyote Brown strap. He has a uh, green one that I threw down somewhere so that I could pick back up, but he's also significantly... Well, it's easier to say he's skinnier than to say I'm chonkier, so that's what we're going to say. We're going to say he's a skinnier gentleman. <laughs> so his wasn't fitting, so I just grabbed mine off of my... Freaking, uh, what should I call it? The, uh, WTF, freaking, WT Fix, freaking, uh, SMG chest rig. I threw it on here because the clips are compatible. Yeah, isn't that nice? So I threw a bunch of my extra mags in here. He's got a lot of his own original stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and you know, pop that off real quick. And to get a little toasty, so let's swap out the jacket. Oh, um,. How embarrassing. I forgot I was wearing that. Uh, yeah, no, so, um, yeah, definitely, you know, there's a lot of different <clears throat> cool handguns, and you don't want to have, like, a single one that's all you ever talk about, so. Let's go ahead. We're going to pop this guy up here. He's got... Yeah, elastic straps. Anyway. <laughs> He's got his cool little set going on here. So the uh, Thing 2 is back here. It comes in, like, black or coyote brown. Because it's only two exclusive things. It gives you these... Extendo wings to throw in uh, radios or anything you like. Generally, I don't like the um, gear that's too close on the inside. Because for personal reasons, I like my ribs not being dug into. But you can generally, you can sometimes get them to work. Usually add a bit of mesh padding or something to it. But these seem to be the very fancy little laminate material going on. So, hydrophobic laminate. And then you got the Tigris stiffeners going ham on both sides. And sort of giving you all your support and stuff. Um, let's see. So that does give you, um, I think it's like three by three. Oh yeah, he's got his woven in through the top and bottom. So generally you got the 
two free rows to get back to your stuff, and you can weave in three to four size pouches on there. So he's got a Spirited Systems. I have notes. Yeah, the thing too, the Tiger's Lemon is, he's got a JSTA pouch. He's got his SNS nav board. Freaking fight, uh, flip light up on the front here. And he's got a pouch I didn't see before, which is actually a Shepherd Associated Smart A41 GSD pouch, which is this guy right here. And then, of course, he's got his little Agilite dangler thing going on with this medical drop-down ordeal. So that's all pretty cool. You can do all sorts of cool modifying stuff with all that. Uh, that weaves in. Oh, yeah, the buckles. Yeah, look at that. You can just the buckle length right there. That's a neat uh, feature. I don't know who makes this um this H harness. It doesn't look like... Because the Spiritus H harnesses I all knew about, and they all said Spiritus on them. This one does not say Spiritus. Anywhere that I can see, but that's pretty cool. Also, these guys articulate right over here. They got a little bit of a range of motion there, so... Probably makes it a bit more comfortable, but as you can see with the way he's got his insert set up, the Mark V deviates away from the old uh, Mark III that I was used to, because you could fit two bits of, um, whatchamacallit, you got the little half flaps and all that cool stuff, so you can keep like six mags in there and make it really heavy. But this one cuts back down to one, which is sort of like the uh, more old-school clever setup. Well, I guess with the chest rig, since you don't have plates in the way, you can go all the way up to two if you really wanted to. Uh, let me go ahead. This thing is a little bit of a, a little wonky to set up here. But, uh, yeah, chest rigs, they tend to be like that, don't they? Uh, also, it's like size for him. Fortunately, he's about as tall as I am, like, shoulder built. So, as long as I swap out this back strap, the lower back strap, I can still make everything work. So yeah, he likes Ranger Green. I ended up going with Coyote Brown. I like this little cable cutter down here. He's got a little, what was it, the mini TRD. And um, yeah, cables, little micro cables even, are always like super useful. There's always something you need cables for, and that's why people carry around bundles of 550 cord, but mini one, easy access. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with that. So the way he has his setup is you can fit uh, two pistol mag pouches going on here, one on each side, and then Rifle mag, rifle mag, rifle mag, up to five rifle mags, which is a pretty solid amount of rifle mags, I'd say. Um, the Spiritus pouch over here, he's got full of chem lights, electrical tape, sharpies, markers, all that ordeal. And he's got a uh, basic um, rehydration supplies, cleaning, uh, lighter, notebook, a bunch of cool pouches. But these, um, these pouches here are unique because they keep space behind them space with uh, the freaking hook and loop material going on so you can throw in extra elastic which obviously you'd expect something like that from Spiritus it's kind of cool to see that these uh, Shepherd Associate guys had the same idea those both weave nicely so you got a little three by a sort of like two openings on the side so you can weave in like two tall three tall and even uh, four tall pouches if you go over the top and bottom and I think his are like technically four talls so that's a cool thing he was able to do the um, radio pouches. They don't have anything in them. Let me jam something in there. Uh, yeah, that should be all right. Just jam that guy in there real quick. Put the safety on, preferably. For, you know, no reason in particular. And, uh, ooh, yep, there it is. Um, there's a radio, yeah, we'll take one of uh, the, it's a lot smaller of a radio for the radio pouch, we'll jam that guy in there. And um, yeah, so, as I was anticipating, I now have things into my side, free floating ribs, aka unused golems. So yeah, um, that's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's comfortable, that's generally why lots of padding stuff is nice, or if putting them on the outside. So, yeah, the thing, too, I definitely like the extendo wings. I probably wouldn't get too much use out of the radio parts. Now, it's not so bad with a little handgun, but without a lot of any retention, it's going to, like, go flying out in a moment's notice. So, yeah, not too bad. The radio, I do think the radio would be better. Such a small radio like that probably not just fine up on the front. Since the Mark V is set up for three mag pouches, it's got all that uh, molly on the front side, so he's got a little knife mount. There's the knife mount. He's got the knife removed, but he's got a knife mount going on there. But, um, shh. Since it's got Molly on the front, you can definitely get the uh, Blue Force Gear 10-speed 
mag pouches and slap that on the front. And you're back to being able to carry six mags in a decent little front setup. I can get my phone to fit in this nav board, which makes me kind of want to buy a nav board. Who's messaging me? Uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get around to that later. But yeah, the nav board's pretty cool. I think um, I'd probably go with the extra mag holder, just because um, not doing too much navigation. Although, if you're wearing a chest rig, makes sense. So, Mark V. Cool little updates. I like the uh, additions of the little holes and stuff. Reminds me of the uh, Coyote Tactical um, IFAC I picked up because it's got the whole hole setting so you can set up your own custom IFAC sort of bungee setup. Oh, what a weird time to get tinnitus. Anyway, oh, this pouch is cool. The pouches are pretty cool he's got on there. I still generally uh, prefer the, th I still prefer the freaking, uh, what you call it, the LBT freaking chest split front chest rig I got going on. So ultimately, I mean, I do like the idea of being able to like super customize everything, but at the same time, having like dedicated pouches more so like the um, Pattern 83 Battle Jacket or Pattern 83 Chest Rig. I just think it's uh, nice to have everything like set up and be able to uh, ingeniously rework pouches to make them work the way you need them to, although being able to slap in new pouches and stuff is all pretty cool. And that's kind of like been the go-to thing for the commercial market. Additionally, these straps are cash money. I don't know who makes this harness, but adding in all this laser cut, I see these guys a little what, either hydration tube or going to be running some sort of a PTT or something through there. Just clever. Get some usage out of that radio pouch. Although I'm going to wager, and I could be wrong, but I'm going to wager. I just don't like radio pouches up in my ribs. Maybe some people are into that. Um, but yeah, it's a little loose. I guess I. I mean, I've been dieting. Maybe it's working out, so. But yeah, the addition of radio pouches, interesting. The radio pouches, mind you, cannot be removed. But they can be left empty, and that's uh, just as well. Uh, mag pouches, yeah. As I said before, I do like the... So the elastic does work pretty well. Well, well enough for all your indexing needs and stuff, but... If you go inverted, which... Is something that generally shouldn't happen, but... It can happen more so from time to time. You can occasionally have the mags. So actually, if I jump... Oh, yeah, they're not going anywhere jumping, but I do like, uh, especially with Blue Force gear, if you can go upside down. Full mags generally don't pop out unless you give them a nice tug. And what I particularly like about the Haley Strategic is, again, with the click and clack retention, the mag ain't coming out unless you really want it to. Here it is a potential issue, but it's it's not like a game changer. Or not a, I mean, not a game changer, not a deal breaker, we'll say. So it's not terribly too bad. So, um, yeah. And ultimately, it is pretty comfortable to wear. I still think um, I prefer the larger chest rigs. That's kind of the thing with the thing, too. Is it going to be one of those solutions looking for problem ordeals? And it can be a little hard to say. Some people have lots of brand loyalty, so it's understandable that they'd want to stick with all their Spiritus compatible gear. Some people might swap it in over with the Haley Strategic in that weird sort of, uh... you say it? I mean... There's both, both things exist, and a lot of the time people are taking expanders and mixing and matching, and it's kind of a cool thing. I mean, this is already a mixed match with Agile Light and uh, Shepherd Associates and whatnot, so... You can do a lot of cool things, and the more compatible of the year is, then the better. And I do think the uh, sticking with the half-inch buckles, or whatever they're called, is a smart idea, because the one complaint I would really have with my LBT chest trick is it goes up to, like, three-quarter buckles instead of half buckles, so it becomes incompatible with all these other things so I would as cool as it would be to take my LBT chest rig and slap on a really really cool harness that I can do a bit more things with I'd have to find a way to adapt the buckles so yeah it is a, it's a cool thing I think they both do for Haley Strategic and Spirited Systems so yeah um ultimately all the mags are easy to access the rifle works pretty well although it is gonna bang up on this uh, navigation case if I hold it the ready. Let me do that again real quick. Come here. Chitong. Oh, this guy, yeah, this naturally sits right up on the old cell phone nav pad. So, so I think just having a... Personally, I just have the extra mags there and uh, call it a day because you can also take those mags out, put in more tourniquets and all that good stuff. But he's got more or less all the cool stuff. Now I got my tan strap just hanging out back there, so... Yeah, so a bit of a shorter video. Lots of cool things going on with this setup, and I have some other gear that he's got me borrowing 
that I'm going to be pretty excited to do reviews on. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I look at that. I think there's only... How does that work? Oh, yeah. So from the uh, micro harness itself, you weave the little thing through, then put the buckle on the top. So you got two different spots to either make that happen or to add in some extra stuff onto those two extra little mini loops in the center. I wonder if that's a map well, that's not going to be a map holder, is it? No. It's just part of the design, so. Cool little setup. Unless you add more stuff. I've seen people throw the water bottle pouch up on the front, and if you uh, if you have one of the Spiritus water bottle pouches on your chest rig, I'm going to call you a huge freaking nerd. <laughs> just keep your water in the pack, or off of the critical high speed, low, high, low, uh, high speed, low drag setup. Because again, you could just have a camelback or anything in your bag, you can carry your water back there. If you need to take a drink, then uh, you're probably not going to be like, pop, 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 pop. Oh no, I'm thirsty. Hold on, guys. Get my little Nalgene bottle going on. So. <laughs> That's just me, though. Um, it just comes across as silly. Stop. But yes, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. The chest rig is pretty cool. It still has your normal straps. You can still run it on a plate carrier and all that stuff. And I do think adding a lot more um, modability to the Mark V is a really smart idea on Spiritus's end. So, the thing too, interesting, unless you expand a bit, I'd probably, if I need to expand a micro chest rig, I'd probably just go with a normal full-size chest rig, but some people, I mean, if you're already invested, why not just add to it and uh, build up to something similar anyway? Because you know, that's just probably going to be the cheaper option at that point. We'll still maintain the ability to go on back down to a micro if need be. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And uh, let me go ahead and start working on the next video. So cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.